Here we have a cheeky little 2010 Fiat 500 in black. The car's in great condition for its age, as you'll see in the video. If we start with the offside front tyre, tread wise, as you can see, there's plenty of tread there. You've got a good 6mm there. Look at the front alloy, very nice condition, no signs of any curbing at all. It's all in good order there. Take a look down the offside of the vehicle, uh, no signs of any dents or any damage. And I can't see any signs of any small dinks either, the bodywork's looking very clean. Uh, you have got a couple of scratches to the paintwork. They are very light, um, so you should polish out no problem. Um, but being a black car, it's going to show every little scratch on the vehicle. Um, but on the drive's door here, a couple of scratches, some light scratches there as well. And some scratches to the bottom of the uh, driver's door here. And um, that one being quite deep, I can just about get my nail into that one. So you might have trouble getting that scratch out. But again, it's nothing major at all. Um, but again, just be aware that there's a few scratches to the driver's door and around the driver's door handle. Looking on the sills here, they're in nice condition. And you also get your sunroof as well. But the roof appears to be spotless as well. As we move around to the rear of the vehicle, again, just a couple of scratches around the petrol cap there, but no problem at all. Offside rear, you've got a good 6mm of tread there as well, so no problems with the tyres at all. And then you've got some scuffs to the alloy on the offside rear. You see you've got one there, and again just a couple here and there. So it could do with a refurb to be honest on the offside rear. And then make our way around to the rear of the vehicle. And take a look in the back. Again, back's in very nice condition with no signs of any major damage at all or any dents. Uh, you've got a couple of scratches to the back of the boot lid here. Very common uh, with the cars that we have in, to be honest. Again, very light, though, so they should polish out without a problem. But looking at the rest of the car, apart from a few scratches here and there, like I said, there's no signs of any damage. And if you look in the boot, nice condition in the boot, uh, quite a reasonable size. And you do get your spare wheel as well with all your bits and bobs, so that's great. Make our way around to the near side of the vehicle. We've got near side rear tyre. Again, you've got around 6mm of tread, so plenty there. And take a look at the near side rear alloy. Again, we've got some uh, scuffs and curbing to the alloy. So again, it could do with a refurb, to be honest. But no signs of any serious damage at all. Then take a look down the near side of the vehicle. Again, I can't see any signs of any dinks at all, especially no signs of any dents or any major damage to the bodywork. Uh, forgot to mention, sorry, on the... Uh, Near side rear quarter here, you've got a bit of a scuff um, there, you can see it's gone down to the uh, paintwork, so it's took the paint off there, and just a few light scratches around that as well, so just be aware of that little scuff there, and to the plastic. But making our way around down to the uh, front passenger door, you've got quite a few car park chips there, again, no problem at all, they're reasonably cheap um, to sort out, and again, just a few scratches to the paintwork. Mirror caps are in nice condition, and then making we run to the near side front. Again, you've got a good five mil of tread there, and taking so that near side rear uh, front alloy. Again, some very light scratches, but no signs of any curbing at all. Um, so the car would just require two refurbs, offside and near side rear. Working our way to the front, and we'll have a look on the bonnet. A uh, couple of scratches again. Very few stone chips to the bonnet. That would just require some touchings, but no signs of any damage at all to the front bumper. But there you go, that's the bodywork. I just recommend a good polish, to be honest, to fetch out those scratches. And if we take a look inside, real funky sort of a white uh, cloth interior with this checkered sort of design on, and a leather headrest there. Driver seats in uh, perfect condition, to be honest. Can't see any problems at all there, so very nice, clean and tidy. And if we have a look in the back, uh, you do have a bit of a rip there, unfortunately, in the seat. So as you can see, it's just about to get my finger into that, so just be aware of that. Um, but apart from that, uh, cloth looks really nice, no stains or anything as such. Um, so unfortunately, apart from that little rip in the seat, it is in nice condition. And it's the same to be said with the front passenger seat as well. Really nice condition and the same with the rest of the interior as well. There's a semi-automatic as you can see. 
but all the doors are in nice condition. If you step inside, I can show you the mileage, etc. Uh, you do get two sets of keys with the vehicle, and if you get it started up. There we go, no problem starting the car, starts first time. Very low mileage on the car, 8,604 miles on the clock. So like I said, very low. And no symbols on the dash there that you need to be aware of. Multifunction steering wheel works perfectly fine, I have trusted that out. And then look at uh, the controls, CD radio. Like I said, works perfectly fine, sounds great. But as you can see, no problems with the steering wheel there. Everything else functions very well and very nice, it's all very funky. Uh, you have got your air conditioning there, all you do is click it in. You can kind of see there, on the, the light is off, and there it's on. That does work and it has tested. And if you turn it up all the way, all the blows are functioning perfectly fine, so no problems there at all. Like I said, it's a semi-automatic uh, transmission. And then taking a look at the documents now. Have a look at the V5, the car's had two owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, which ends June 30th, 2014, so plenty left on the MOT. And we do get full franchise service history as well, just to top the car off. Feel free to pause this any time to have a better look. Uh, your first one there at 2, 2, 11, and your second there at 4, 5, 7, 4. We're currently on 8,000 miles, so um, it is coming up to its next service quite soon. But there we go, it's the 2010 Fiat 500 in black, and for a car of Sage, it's in very nice condition.